Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is April. I go by Ruby Rouge here on the YouTubes. Today I'm doing an empties video. This is going to be like catch up empties. What was remaining in the year of 2021 that I finished and um, today we're doing bath and body, skin care, hair care. First products. We... First off, I have this Medieval Mix Art from Aracacia. It is an essential oil blend, cleansing aroma. I like the Aracacia oils well enough. I like their mixes. I didn't care much for this simply because I just felt like it didn't have a lot of staying power and it wasn't strong enough. I have these two things from Aracacia. They are the Aromatherapy Mineral Bath and Balsam Fur. These were 200, 200 oh my gosh. These are $2.50 a piece, and I love these. I absolutely love these mineral baths. I have purchased more. Just an FYI, I do buy all of my Aracacia, and um, I buy a lot of things from Vitacost, but I do get all of this from Vitacost. Next up, I have a Dove Soap. Dove Soap's kind of just a very go-to. It's a non-soap soap. It's very moisturizing. Um, I don't buy it all that often, but it is something I pick up occasionally. This next thing is the Dorco Shy 6. I'm really sad about this. I think they've discontinued these, or they've changed the way they distribute these, but these were a very, very affordable and wonderful razor blade, but I don't think that you can really get them affordably anymore. They were listed on Amazon for quite a bit of money, and then I couldn't find them on the website anymore. So, unfortunately, I think Dorco is or at least a portion of Dorco is done. Cetaphil Restoraderm Eczema Calming Body Moisturizer. Cetaphil Restoraderm Eczema Calming Body Moisturizer. Last year I had an eczema flare-up. I think it was due to all the stress. I have not had an eczema flare-up in years. So I bought a whole bunch of lotions trying to help it go away. What I ended up realizing is that they were all really kind of the same, um, very similar. They all provided a little bit of temporary relief, but it, it never actually got the problem to go away. I ended up having to take a steroid, which I hate steroids, so I was really trying to avoid that. However, I do enjoy this. I would purchase this again in the event of a flare-up. I still have plenty more left because I did purchase a whole bunch, like I said. And these are pretty expensive. It was $15 for this moisturizer. Um, but it was good, and it's fragrance-free. So, Shea Moisture Baby Lotion. So, I really I bought this for my son and then I ended up using it as well I do really enjoy it I really like the scent of it it's very nice um I like the ingredients in Shea Moisture they don't um let's see there's some certified organic there's some fair trade there are some natural ingredients and I just I don't know I always feel like the Shea Moisture products are incredibly effective this was very moisturizing without being overly greasy it absorbed properly like you want a lotion too and it smelled nice so I enjoyed using this on both my baby and myself Champagne Toast Body Lotion. This is from Bath & Body Works. I don't love Bath & Body Works lotions. Um, they've never been quite moisturizing enough for me. I always feel like, yeah, they, they provide some like temporary relief, but then I just feel dry again, you know, within a few hours. This one is one of my favorite scents though, so a lot of times what I'll do is if I get gifted one of these or if I just do randomly pick up one, I will add it to like a leftover unscented lotion that I have or something that doesn't have quite as nice of a scent. Um, yeah, so this is considered a champagne berry musk, but I just love it. Champagne toast is definitely one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents. Okay. Shea Moisture Olive Oil and Marula Baby Wash and Shampoo. I do really love using the Shea Moisture products on my child. Um, I have noticed that when I use this wash exclusively, I don't really ever have to use lotion. That's how I ended up using up his lotion because it was just kind of sitting there getting old because he just never needed it. Um, these products are very moisturizing. They're not stripping. They're great for the hair too. So like I just wash, wash them in this. It smells nice. Just really, really, oh, and it doubles as a bubble bath. 
Um, <laughs> so I'm just really, really happy with these products. I will continue to buy them. Okay, somewhere on my list, I'm supposed to have Yog Nog Shower Gel. I can't seem to find it right now, so I'm just going to post a picture. Um, I Yog Nog is something I pick up every year or so from Lush during Christmas time. It's a scent that I enjoy. It's like a burnt kind of caramelly type scent. Um, it's very gourmand. And it's moisturizing, so it is something I, I look forward to using. Lush Pearl was something else I probably need to add a photo of because this is all I have left. Lush Pearl I did not like. I liked the product, uh, kind of. So what I ended up doing with Lush Pearl, it is a massage bar, so it's a hard lotion and it had all these like little scratchy beads in it that were supposed to be, you know, massaging. What I found is that the massage, massage bar format is either always too hard and crumbly so it ends up flaking and falling apart into your floor or it gets like super super greasy really really fast I do not like the massage bar format I won't be purchasing it again and I especially will not be purchasing the ones with like beads or pearls or anything like that in that the pearl was the rose jam scent I ended up making was able to make like a lotion I melted it down and added it to a lotion so I was able to make something from it and finish it off but this is a never again purchase for me. On that same note, I finished up the Wiki Magic Muscles. Um, I probably, if I would have thought about it, I would have tried the melty down thing with this one as well. As you can see, I got to about this part, this far, um, I did force myself to use it and it became unusable. I just, it, I don't enjoy the format. The format is just not good for me. Another Lush product is Snow Fairy. I do like Snow Fairy. Snow Fairy is one of the sweeter Lush scents. I don't, um, I feel like Lush scents are, tend to be very kind of like eclectic or unique. They don't, uh, they don't really fall into your normal, if you've never tried Lush or you've never smelled Lush, they just don't fall into what you would expect. And even Snow Fairy, it has, although it's sweet, it still does, it doesn't get overly sweet. It's not like super cotton candy. It is probably the sweetest scent I've ever smelled from Lush, but it's more of like a marzipan. So, yeah, so it kind of pulls back. It goes right to the edge, and then it kind of pulls back a little bit. But I do enjoy Snow Fairy. I look forward to it. It's also another Christmas winter scent. Seven Virtues Vanilla. I really enjoyed this. So I, back in my day, I was a Vanilla Woods type person. I really enjoyed that scent. And then I just kind of didn't like vanilla for a really long time. And it wasn't until I tried this this year that I really, I was like, I, I want to get into some vanilla again. This really kind of just put me back on that path. Um, I mean, seriously, it's been a long time since I had any desire for a vanilla fragrance. I'm actually thinking about purchasing this. I might pick up a rollerball or something just to see. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy this, but it does smell very reminiscent of the old school vanilla woods, if you know what I'm talking about. This is the Jo Malone London Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. Every once in a while I'll write a note on some of my perfumes and I know that my handwriting is awful, but this says Hamster Cage Cedar. So I did actually kind of enjoy it, but it did put me in the um, mind frame of a hamster cage, but it was a nice hamster cage. It was like a nice clean new hamster cage that the hamster hasn't been pooping in yet. Mind you, I do love like cedar and woodsy scents, so I'm not complaining about that necessarily. It was just something about it was a little bit too close to a hamster gauge. This is Roasting Chestnuts on an Open Fire. This really reminds me of like this old school Jergens shampoo, uh, conditioner. I don't know if it's shampoo, conditioner, lotion. Oh gosh, it smells so good. It is just like this almondy. That's it's it's considered a cherry almond scent, um, and it's really nice. And I did really enjoy this. I enjoyed the scent. It is a moisturizing fragrance. Not all lush uh, fragrances are the same. So some have higher moisturization and some less in my my experience. So I felt like this was one of the ones that had a little bit more. I did really enjoy this. So. Oat Milk Nourishing Chestnut Puree. Mm. 
Once Upon a Time is one of the uh, lotions I like from Lush a little bit more than some of the others. Um, I don't think I'll buy this again. This was my second or third time I had purchased this and it does absorb just a little bit better than some of the other Lush lotions, but I still find that it just isn't quite enough for me. I like it. I like lotions to absorb just a little bit more, so I don't think I'm going to pick this up again. Though I do really like the scent. It is, once again, a little bit different from Lush. It's a green apple, but it's very, very old school. Like, not um, 30s, 40s old school, but like... It reminds me of like my great grandmother. Something about it. I always call it this um, tissues and lotion. <laughs> I don't know what what it is that smells like that, but I've always called it tissues and lotions. And um, yeah, it just reminds me of that whole generation of people. Something that they wore, some kind of perfume or lotion that they wore, had this scent to it. This, once again, is just a Lush package. It's Butter Bear Soap. Um, I like Butter Bear Soap okay. It's kind of plain, which is the point, I think. It smells nice enough. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily feel like I need to pick it up again. It's just one of those things, like, I'll, uh, if I see it, and it's, especially if it's Christmas and it's, like, half price, I'll pick it up. But otherwise, I just don't feel real called to it. So, Sugar Plum Shower Balm. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the shower bombs. This was $5. It was awful small. I think they are meant to be a single use, but if you're careful, you can certainly get more than one use out of it. I, I believe that I got, I know that I got two. I'm kind of thinking I got three because sometimes I, I, I get real miserly about, about these Lush products. I, I don't know. I, I feel like they're kind of a waste. I don't really understand them, but I do actually have another one that I got in the Christmas stuff. So I'm going to try a couple more and see what I think, but I don't think I would pick it up again. Philosophy Amazing Grace. I This is a very nice and clean scent. I feel like most people have smelled it or at least been graced with a sample at some point in their life. I did actually end up buying the full size. I think I was going through some kind of... Um, because when I was struggling with my eczema, I completely stopped using anything with like fragrance and I didn't for like months. So I think when I started using like my scented bath stuff and my scented lotions and then my perfume again, I think that I just really kind of went overboard and bought everything because I was like, everything smells so good. I really, really miss those items. So uh, I did end up buying the full size of this. I don't regret it. It was like a uh, half price at Ulta maybe. So I don't regret it. This next product is, this is what I have left from it. This is Lush Snow Fairy Fun. I'll post a picture. Oh no, there's another piece of it. Look, I have more. <laughs> My son saw this the other day and he was like, ew, mom, gross. Um, yeah, and he's, he's four, so. Fun is a cool item. Um... It's very multi, you can use it for, you can pull a little piece off and use it as soap. You can use it in your hair. It smelled really nice. You can crumble it up and use it as bubble bath. I kind of shared that with my son. Um, he thinks it's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, it's something I'll definitely buy again. A bar that's not cheap, a bar of it's $15, but you get a lot of use out of it. If Depending on how you use it, you can get a lot of use out of it. Malin... I'm getting commercials for them, and it's they pronounce it different than I thought you would. So I think it's Malin Gates, Malin Gets. I was saying Malin Goats. It's not Malin Goats. It's Malin Gets or Malin Gates. Anyways, <laughs> I stayed at this hotel that had the Malin Gates products, and I used to I had gotten a bunch of them a long time ago in a subscription box. I'd used them and then kind of forgot all about the brand. Then I stayed at this hotel and it really renewed my interest in the brand. Um I really loved the rum. I don't know where it's at, but I used it. So I had this rum body wash and then I really liked this B5 body moisturizer. It was just very easy to use. I felt moisturized when I was done. The scent was really nice, but if I could I I might actually find that rum body wash again because that mm, smelled real good. I'm going to skip over to skincare now. Um, I have this Herborean Ginseng Shot Mask. This did nothing that I could see. Um, yeah, really just nothing. 
I think the retail price on it was about ten dollars, and I uh, there's I wouldn't purchase that. And then I have two of these Wonder Maki Berry masks. I, did, I really didn't like these. So the Arborian mask was at least pleasant to use, or it was, you know, good, pleasant enough. This one, these were not pleasant. Uh, it was like kind of like oily and slimy, and I just did not enjoy them. I did force myself to use the second one. I didn't want to, but I just kind of wanted to get it out. And um, sometimes I struggle with just throwing things away, but yeah, it probably would just need to be thrown away. Bosha Black Cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleansers. So the retail price on this is $30. However, Ulta usually has them half price um, some, at some point throughout the year. So I try to catch that and pick one up. I do really enjoy this. It has salicylic acid in it. It does have a slight warming sensation. Um, just generally, I think it's a really good cleanser. My face just, I feel like my skin stays really clear when I'm using this. And yeah, I really enjoy it. Another really good cleanser that I have is this Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser with Pycnogenol and Aloe Vera. I really recommend this for anybody with dry skin or with normal skin, even oily skin. So it's very cleansing. It doesn't add any extra moisture to the face, but it certainly does not strip the face at all. And I do think that um, maybe the Pycnogenol has some sort of moisturizing effect without being lotion-y. Uh, so I really, really like this. I think if you have any skin irritations or anything like that, this would be a great cleanser for you. It is only $13. This is also something I pick up at Vitacost. African Sulfur Soap. This has precipitated sulfur in it. I picked these up at Amazon. The price depends on, it's roughly $3 a bar, but the price depends on how many that you buy it at one time. I usually buy three to six. Um, I go through these. I've been using it for years. I really, really recommend sulfur for certain types of acne. If you have acne and you haven't been able to quite figure out how to get it to go away, one of the things, if you haven't tried it yet, try sulfur. A lot of times acne is caused by a type of fungus and sulfur can um, kill that fungus, I think is, is how it works. So like if you're struggling with like a yeast related acne, sulfur can um, work to help cure that. But Absolutely. Try this if you haven't. It's so affordable. There's no reason to not try it. <laughs> and it doesn't stink that bad. Like it's not something that has a really strong sulfury smell to it either. Clarence Extra Firming Night. Um, I do like some things from this line, but not this particular product. Um, it was too heavy for me. It, the scent was overpowering. It broke. It kind of broke me out, so I ended up just using it on my body. Not something I would purchase again. It's also quite silicone-y or like slippy. I just didn't. I didn't care for this. Ola Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I do have some products I like from Ola Henriksen. This isn't really one of them. Um, it kind of reminded me of this product I'm about to show you from Clean and Clear. Definitely not something I would feel the need to pick up again. The full oh, I don't have the I don't have the full size price on here, but I would say it's probably about thirty dollars. So, and what it reminded me of is this Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. I didn't feel like this was like really scrubby. I just didn't care for this either, to be honest. I didn't feel like it was super morning burst or it just anything. I, it was like just this, yeah, it was very mundane to me. Not super exciting. This product is from Erno Laszlo. It is the Felital Night Felital Felatile. I don't remember Felatile Felatile Night Cream. Um, didn't care for this. Too heavy for me. Just this wasn't a product for me, so I'm not a good judge on this. I personally won't be purchasing this again. I, there are products once again that I do love from Erno Laszlo. This is just not one of them. Egg cream mask. This is also a product that I did not care for whatsoever. It's supposed to be pore tightening with vinegar, egg yolk extract. It, I didn't feel anything. Um, I don't remember much, but I remember thinking, being very disappointed and thinking, yeah, what was that? 
These were some lip masks that my mom gifted to me from Amazon. I had a whole big thing of them. I did manage to use as many as I could, but honestly, they were just uncomfortable. I didn't enjoy having something on my lips for, you know, 10 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever. They were supposed to be on for at a time. And I did some before and after pictures. The before and after pictures picked up absolutely no results. And honestly, I, I couldn't tell any real results from them. So I just quit wasting my time. This is something that I love. However, it's been discontinued. Oh God, it was amazing. It was so amazing. I would still be buying it, I think. This is the Neuropeptide Facial Cleanser from Perry Coon MD. It was a nice, it, it was um, strong enough to remove makeup. It had like a little bit of an oiliness to it, so it was able to remove makeup, but it was also didn't have to be a two-step cleanser. Um, I used it as a two-step cleanser. I just felt like this was a really, really nice product. However, it's not available anymore. It was kind of expensive and yeah. Fresh soy sample. I feel like everybody has had this product in sample form a hundred million times. I'm not even going to talk about it. I don't really care that much for it. Caudalie Vino Pure Cleanser. I have a bigger sample of this that I'm using right now, and I do actually enjoy it. I don't know if it's something that I would pick up again, but it's nice. I've really enjoyed using it. I have another Clean and Clear Morning Burst. <clears throat> I have this Biore Charcoal Face Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanse. Now this, this is the product that I ended up loving and wanting to uh, keep purchasing for my travel bag. It's very similar to the Bosha Black. The ingredients in the Bosha Black are a little more natural. I like the ingredients in the Bosha Black a little bit more. And I also like the Bosha Black product a little bit more. But this is the, certainly like a knockoff version of that. It does have a little bit of, I'm not sure if it was salicylic acid in it, but it does have a, like, a little bit of some acid in it to help exfoliate just you know just very mildly so this is my go-to travel bag cleanser now it also has just a little bit of like a bright pick-me-up spell smell um it does have just a brightness to it alamas rose oil i have left downstairs I ended up using this to like mix into other products. I used it to mix into my like facial nighttime oil makeup remover. I can't really use oils. I can't leave them on my skin. It, it just breaks me out. Um, unfortunately, I'm just not one of those people who, who is able to do that, but I did use it on my body. I just, I cannot in my mind justify how this rose oil is $80 and <laughs> I don't know. I just, I didn't see anything that was that much different than any of my other oils that I have, any of my other rose oils that I have. I just didn't feel any difference in the texture. I don't know. I just didn't, I couldn't get there with it. This is the Belief Eye Cream. It's a little moisturizing eye balm sample. I thought this was okay. I did enjoy using it. It's not something I felt compelled to buy the full size of, maybe just because I have too many eye creams as it is. But yeah, I enjoyed this well enough. I don't really have any real complaints about it. I'm going to hop over to hair care and then I'll come back and do anything that was left over that I, I overlooked. This is the Kerastase, um Step 1 Band Therapist. Um, I love this. I originally got this from Influencer, and I think this might actually be one of the original pieces that I actually received from Influencer. I have since repurchased it again. I am still using it. I don't use it every day. It's kind of expensive, but what I just really like it, um, this particular one for me, it it's moisturizing. My hair always looks good every single time I use it, like I have a good hair day, and it kind of helps me tame frizz just a little bit without being like flat, stuck to my head, um, overly heavy taming frizz. I know some of you with like finer texture hair, I have very fine texture hair. So I know some of you guys with finer texture hair know what I'm talking about. Everything that tames frizz like weighs your hair down so dramatically. So this is a really good product for me and I, I enjoy it. And the scent, oh my gosh, it is strong, but it's very, very, very clean. And I just really think it smells divine. Mm, you can still smell it in that bottle. Uh, 
Clairol Natural Instincts. I went through a phase where I was dyeing my hair with Clairol Natural Instincts and you always get a million of these. I finally started just buying my own um, hair color and um, developer because I got so tired of all these stupid little products and the wastefulness of the box dye. So, yeah. Envati Advanced. This product is the bomb. If you are interested in the Envati line, this is the one product to get. This is the mask. You put it on for like two to three minutes before you uh, wash your hair or after you get your hair wet. You got to put it on and then it sits in the shower for like two minutes. I don't know. I do it like while I shave my legs and stuff. Um, love this. This is the most effective piece of the Mbati line as far as getting your hair to grow back in. Um, I have a whole video on it if you want to watch more. I'll link it up, up here somewhere. And yeah, I recommend that. Shea Moisture Hydrate the Manuka Honey and Yogurt. I just finished this whole line basically and I plan on buying this again. This product was good, the shampoo was good, and the conditioner are all good and I really, really, really like these. And especially this little product being like, what, $3? I would totally recommend you get that. Okay, here's all the random products that I have left. I have some Listerine. I don't know why I wanted to put this in my video, but I did. So this is Listerine. It's strong. It's very potent. Um, yeah. Next, I have this Wonder. Next, I have this Wonder Beauty Peel Off Mask. It was in a project. That's why it has little tally marks on it. Um, this is a peel off mask. It was okay. It was very, very mildly effective. So I could kind of tell a little bit of results. I forced myself to go all the way through it. However, I would never purchase this again, but I think it's been discontinued, so I don't even have to worry about it. Selena Cotton, one of my friends from a long, long time ago, Daisy Girly, Steph from Daisy Girly, recommended these. She got them off Amazon. I picked them up. I enjoyed them. These are very, very, very good. I don't know if you can tell here, but they're like multi-layered cottons, so you can choose how many um, little sheets you want to pick up. You can do a really, really thin sheet, or you can do a thick sheet, and they're nice. They're soft. They're just as soft as my, um, what's the Shiseido? Flexitol Heal Balm. This is a heal balm with just a little bit of acid in it. This is this wasn't my favorite. I you know it existed. Um, if it was the only thing on the shelf, I would pick it up. It, it was just very plain, very plain and moderately effective. All right, guys, that's my video. Um, it's probably too long. I'm sorry. I just needed to get all those through all those things. I'm getting ready to do my makeup empties next. So yeah, I know that that's a lot more interesting for some of you guys, but I, I just like to do my empties videos. I like to watch empties videos and I like to just account for all of my items that I use and keep track of them and take notes and keep notes on them. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy empties videos. I really look forward to seeing you back for the makeup portion, which will be next. And yeah, I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.